thank you so much for all of your effort into our worship here at St. Michael and All Angels. I can't imagine a service without that big booming voice and that wonderful music. Because of your great dedication and love of our Lord that uh, so many people have truly uh, come to know Him and worship Him with great glory and uh, a joyful noise. And I've always enjoyed doing the Discovery Service when you're there. You bring a lot of excitement and joy. Bless you. It was in 2000 that the church asked Len and Pam to organize uh, a music ministry with more contemporary music. Uh, I was, they asked me to join right after that, and then Eric immediately after that, and then some years later Tom joined. Pam and Lynn really uh, changed my life and brought music back into it and made me a much happier person and, and much more spiritual getting here every week. But impossible shoes to fill, they're just great talents and, and more importantly they've been great friends and, and we've had a great spiritual journey together. affectionately known as the Aretha Franklin of the Episcopal Church. Uh, is, it's a, amazing to sing, and those are, in, those are incredibly difficult pumps to fill. But Eric's thinking of trying to fill them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks good in pumps. <laughs>